Once upon a time, a worker planted a good olive tree in his master's garden. The worker took good care of this tree, and the tree grew up big and strong. But after a while, the good olive tree wasn't growing any fruit, and the tree got old and it started to die. The master of the garden didn't want the good tree to die. He told the worker to trim the tree, and to water the tree, and to dig around the tree so that maybe it will start to grow some fruit. After a while, the good tree started to grow some new branches, but the branches on top started to die more. When the master of the garden saw this, he told the worker, let's take off the dead branches of the good tree and burn them in the fire. and I will take these new branches off the tree, and I will plant them in hidden places all around, in the farthest parts of my garden. Then if this good olive tree dies, at least those good branches will still be alive, and they can still grow some fruit for me. Then he told the worker, go get other branches from the bad olive trees outside of my garden and bring them here and put them in this tree. Even though they are bad branches, at least they will help keep this good tree alive. He told the worker to trim the tree, water the tree, and to dig around the tree. They both worked together in the garden for a long time. After a while, the worker said, Look, look at the good olive tree. It's starting to grow good fruit. The master of the garden was very happy because the good tree was growing good fruit. They picked the olives. Then the master of the garden said, Let's go to the faraway parts of the garden and see if the good branches that I planted are growing fruit too. When they got to the first branch, it had lots of good fruit on it. But the worker was surprised. How did this branch grow so much good fruit? The worker said, This is the worst spot for planting a tree. Don't ask too many questions, the master of the garden said. I planted this branch and took care of it for a long time. And you can see it grew lots of good fruit. They picked the fruit and went to see the next branch of the good tree. It was in an even worse spot for planting a tree, but it had lots of good fruit too. So they picked that fruit. Then they went to see the next branch, and it also had lots of good fruit to pick. But when they got to the last branch, they were surprised. The branch was in the very best spot of ground. And the master took care of this branch just like the others, but this branch grew good and bad fruit. Then the master of the garden said, Let's take off the branches that are growing bad fruit and burn them in the fire. But the worker said, Wait! Let's trim the tree and water it and dig around it a little longer. And then maybe it will grow more good fruit. The master of the garden said, Okay and they both took care of all the trees in the garden. They trimmed the trees, and they watered the trees, and they dug around the trees a little longer. After a long time, the master of the garden said, the season is almost over. Let's go see if any of the trees have good fruit. When they got to the good tree, they saw all kinds of bad fruit growing, and there wasn't any good fruit. The master of the garden was very sad. We have worked so hard for all this time, and it's all for nothing. I don't want to lose this tree. What should we do to help this tree? The worker said, Well, the roots of this good olive tree are still good, 
I think the wild branches were too strong and there were too many bad branches for the good roots. And now this tree only makes bad fruit. Then the master of the garden said, We have to do something. But first, let's go to the other branches and see if they have any good fruit. But when they got to the other branches, they all had bad fruit too. The master of the garden was very sad. What more could I do for my garden? I have worked so hard, but now all the trees in my garden grow bad fruit. And this one I even planted in the very best spot. Better than any other spot in the whole garden. I think all my trees are ruined. Let's cut them all down and burn them in the fire. But the worker said, Maybe it's because the garden is too big and the good branches are too spread out. And they're so little. Let's wait a little longer and see if the good branches start to grow a little more. The master of the garden said, Okay, let's wait a little longer, because I don't want to lose all of my trees. But let's do something else. Let's take branches from the little trees and put them back into the first olive tree, in the spots where the worst branches are. And the little trees will still need some branches, so let's take these bad branches out of the first tree and put them in the little trees. This first olive tree is a good tree, and I have kept the roots alive all this time. And now that its first branches are back again, maybe now it will be strong enough to win against the bad branches. And the tree will start to grow good fruit again. We're almost out of time, but let's work really hard this time. Harder than we've ever worked before. So they trimmed the trees, and they watered the trees, and they dug around the trees a little longer. And when the good branches started to grow, they quickly cut away the bad branches that were blocking them, so the good branches had room to grow. And they threw the bad branches into the fire. And they brought even more of the good branches from the little trees and put them in the first tree too. So all the good branches and the good tree were coming back together again. They were running out of time. So more workers came, and they all worked as fast as they could. And the master of the garden worked too. The workers obeyed everything the master of the garden told them to do. They kept working until all the bad branches were burned, and the whole garden was filled with good branches and good fruit. They were all really happy. Then the master said, we have worked hard together, and this garden is going to grow lots of good fruit for a very long time. And now you can have joy with me from all the good fruit. But whenever the day comes that this garden starts to grow bad fruit again, that will be the end. When bad fruit comes again, I will pick all the good fruit in the whole garden, and I will get rid of the bad fruit. And then I will burn the whole garden with fire, so that no more bad fruit can ever grow here. Jesus Christ is like the gardener. He works all the time to try to help us make good choices and to bring us back to Heavenly Father. And he invites us to work with him. Did you know we create lesson plans and activity pages to go with our videos every week? They're made by a professional teacher just for kids. Tell your teacher. Tell your mom. They're on our website. LatterdayKids.com